Hello and welcome to Starrunner. As you can see, things did not go good. The plan was to park that truck right here before I could put the two wooden planks on it when the P-16 got there. Because we got room for two wooden planks, but of course that couldn't happen. So, we have a little more interesting thing. And I've already positioned a map defense because I don't know if this can get up the hill without chains. I think I'm light enough that it shouldn't struggle, but it depends on what the coil trailer was that I tried to pull up with the Pacific P-12 once. That didn't make it up this hill, but I'm not sure. Maybe this would be just light enough that maybe Anyway, I just thought I'd do this low with the B-16 just to show off one of the trucks you would have access to if you were playing the regions in order. And for those of you wanting, I have the middle engine because I don't have the top of 900 in this, but I don't think that should be too much of a problem. I don't know. like this. Although I think these are OHD, so I don't think that applies to the Pacific, but they did give it other tire options, so 
Eh, I'll put a notation. What am I looking for? I am looking for the map defense. And one of the nice things about the map defense is it has chains over its butt tires, so I don't know. Uh, a lot of the early game American subs will have them over all terrain, so you're essentially choosing between mud performance and chains. Fortunately, this is one of those trucks that you don't have to make that choice with it. There are a number of them that are even in the base game when it belongs, so it's nice. There, we got it out of that part. Now, let's hook it up because I'm just kind of curious. Can the P16 make it up this hill with this trailer? What are we stuck on now? Okay, just that little ridge because I cut the corner. But I pulled this way, we should be fine. That's the key to mastering this trailer is pay attention to where the bumps are and steer around them so you don't high center. Honestly, I shouldn't be surprised given that they can't even haul long walks up the grade with the top engine, so I, I probably shouldn't be surprised given how heavy cement is. Each one of those sets of concrete blocks is, um, is rated 3 tons, so that's... I didn't think it was a heavy enough load to cause me a problem, but apparently it is. There's another non-buddy route that I'm probably going to have to take to get some stuff from a warehouse near the garage and I'll probably use this for that. And hopefully I can do that. Now we're back. 
and just stop for a moment to let my arms recover. Didn't catch the sneeze as I was to turn my mic off, but I had to wait for my arm to start and stop hurting. So I could continue things. Because I can sneeze hard enough that my arms, legs, and neck will hurt. Sometimes. And of course, since I was recording a video, that's exactly what happened. Now let's get this load up the hill. Unlike Unlike the time with the Tega 6436, we shouldn't have to use a winch this time because we have chains. We also have the power, so we shouldn't have real walking. Here we are, which is the transfer trailer. Because we need more ground clearance and also <laughs> the engine in the back defense. I'm using the VA and not the fuel miser. I'm kind of interested to see how much fuel the fuel miser will save. But right now, <laughs> I need something else that's just a tad more fuel efficient. So why not? So we're off to where those wooden planks are, and the plan is just simply to use the back beyond the transfer to the trailer. And then I'll probably come back at, off camera with the P16 rescue the can work. Although I guess we're, we're doing good on time, so I actually could do that rescue on camera. That, that actually may be a plan, that, that would make this a what I usually shoot for is a 20 to 30 minute video, if I can help it. So the timing actually should work out, so I'll do that rescue on camera. Oh wow, it's already almost getting dark, so... Well, there isn't too much to see, so yeah, we'll do the rescue right now. First, I'm going to unpack the cargo. Need to add the wooden planks. Oh no, please tell me I can get back under this. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a problem. Oh, oh well, I can just use the back defense if 
because I need you to get it to a place where I can get the P-16 under it, so shouldn't be too crazy. That might suck. Oh, there's a tree there. That could be causing the problem. I guess the question is which way I pull, and I'm thinking, I don't like pulling uphill, but I think that's the answer here, just simply because pulling down would get it wrapped around these trees, so I don't actually think that would work. So let's try that. What I could do is pull it this way, let's actually. I don't, I don't really maybe have the power, so let's try pulling sideways. We're not pulling completely up the hill, but we're also not pulling into the trees. That's the main thing here. I can just pull this way too. Oh, that's not what I want. I want you to attach to that. We are kind of making progress, that's good. And we're back. If we can now that the Actions out of the way, let's see if we can get this down the hill. Okay, that's
if we can get it this way. And if not, I'm, I'm not going to waste the time, honestly. I can probably get this off camera. We actually go deliver this cargo. Oh. So I'll just use that neon. Thankfully, it does look like I'm gonna get under this again. Question mark. Looked like it for a moment. Okay, yeah. See, the main issue is just getting it around those tree branches so they don't grab it. That is... Well, we did move it from over here. It, basically, I didn't realize that this sloped at the angle did, and that's what got me in trouble. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Ever get those seconds from disaster vibes? Because that's kind of what this feels like. And this, this right here, is why you always want your wheels pointing up or downhill. This would have gone over if I had been sideways, that is for sure. believe that anchors are actually in tank. <laughs> that, that, that's interesting. No, 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 no. Don't do this. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect this to be this entertaining. It's like <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Okay, there, <laughs> we have the first one. Let's be careful not to tip ourselves on the way down. Okay, we'll just damage the engine. Well, that's an acceptable choice to do, I guess. <laughs> this game <is> sometimes. <laughs> I also didn't want to chew up this area to make it hard on myself to eat some that. You know, that was a little bit of a nice song. Put this right here because it looks like it wants This is the reason. I prefer the Zix 566A over this is because it's not nearly as tippy when you have the lightweight loading crate, the, as it's called, the IM50 on your truck. This thing's okay when it comes to stability if you don't have the grain. If you have the grain, though, you really have to be careful. Put some fuel in. Now let's go get that other <laughs> set of wooden planks. And some more damage, because why not, even though it doesn't make sense.
Let's see. Is it gonna be a silly this time? Okay, now that it's done, let's deliver the cargo. First, I'm gonna refuel just so I empty the roof rack so I don't look at it and think I have fuel when I really don't. <laughs> Packing everything up again. Let's go make our delivery! This was the other area I was wondering, but the 57s on the P-16 speed actually enough to stop the trailer from bottoming out. And it looks like that is the case, which is nice.
here we are to deliver, I don't know, this may be the last time I used to let each slot for this contract? I don't know, I, I've been thinking conceptually about one more load I could bring from near the garage with this. Although, doing the math, you're looking at what could potentially be hauled in two loads with a fly slot trailer, so that's why I wasn't completely sold on the idea of eating this. Anyway, thanks for watching.